Twitter lost its complete YouTube. mind today. Really? Over what? The Oscars. Oh, yeah. Well, that best picture was kind of like... See, I've here's here's something I've noticed about Oscars every year, and I think how I could we can fix it forever. Um, the Oscars start whenever they air, and it's all about the red carpet. It's all about all everybody walk the red carpet, what they wear, and all this cool stuff. See what Billy Porter. This year, the red carpet was over when Billy Porter showed up, and he was two hours early. Yeah. So. So at that point, it was like. We're good. So yeah, everybody go home. It's the red carpet, and then everyone's happy. Everyone's excited. It's like, oh, would you look at this? This is so cool. Look at this. And then the actual Oscar start, and everybody's like, what is this? YouTube. YouTube. This. So here's my idea. I kind of thought this show this year, like the Queen opening, was great. I didn't see Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper because I checked out for an for an hour and a half to watch True Detective. Um. Well Okay. But it moved a lot faster without a host, like, doing pokey bits. Yeah, yeah but here's they my idea. Do, here's my they, idea. They didn't do 30 montages. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Let's just, let's not do the awards. Let's just do the red carpet and have all the celebrities come down the red carpet, really cool dressed up, everyone interviews them, asks about their projects, and at the very end of the red carpet, there's a big party. And then, every like, every 30 minutes or so, we have a break. So that all the all everybody on the red carpet can like chill and hydrate, and we bring out a musical act, right? We have like you'll know, bring out Queen, bring out Lady Gaga, and then more people down the red what carpet. You're describing is a fashion show. Yes, but it's just the red carpet with the interviews right there on the red carpet, and we don't even need the I, Oscars. I was psyched with most of the awards, to be honest with you. It's just Best Picture. I was kind of like, eh. but like Black Panther won costume design, which was super deserved. Um, they it, also won production and set design, which was also super deserved. Like, it doesn't that deserve doesn't actually function into it because anyone can vote for any reason and they can have any but objective. But in a lot, criteria. what I'm saying is this year, in most cases, the things that deserve to win won. Then best picture happens. If anything deserve, if anything at the Oscars that actually deserves to win wins, it's an accident. But it's a happy accident. <laughs> And like Bob Ross taught us, you celebrate your happy accidents. <laughs> and Chris Evans wore like this teal velvet jacket. See, but listen, gorgeous. you're talking about what he was wearing. He could do that on the red carpet. We didn't need the rewards. You just get Chris Evans. And Hang Tina Fey and Maya Rudolph and Amy Poehler did a really good little bit at the beginning about how they were not the hosts. And that was fun. It actually, honestly, when they did just music performances and awards, it moved so much better. Like, it didn't screech to a halt because we were doing a hokey bit about talking to the audience or anything. Like, we just need the, uh, the, the thing it, people. They streamlined it and it worked. They can streamline it even more because the thing people like the best is the red carpet. Let's just do the red carpet. Just do an annual red carpet. Doesn't work though because everybody changes in a whole new outfits for the after party. Well, then we could do like this. We could do the after red carpet. It'd be like a bonus. It'd be like an extended cut, like DVD features. It would be awesome. I don't, I don't think it's gonna work. Could put that on the the, the the streaming only service. There you go. It'd be monetization. Anyway. All right. It is that time again. Someone asked, "Did I do something to my hair? My bangs are grown out, and I really need a haircut." Huh? Is what I did to my hair. But thank you. All right. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And this week, oy. it's Catherine's birthday today. It is. Happy birthday, Catherine. Happy birthday, Catherine. Because she, for every week, she keeps finding this horrible shit, and I don't know how she does it. it and you guys find it too. But no, she, Catherine. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're going to start with... I should get this out. There we go. Um, I have too much stuff on my desktop. That's one thing. I do a different. I do another show on Twitch. We do it live every uh, Saturday. It's a tech Q&A show. Yep. And we start that show off when we do that. we start. Uh, I start that, that off by talking about news stories regarding tech. And sometimes there's a problem. 
because I can't decide whether the news story goes on the tech Q&A, we're trying to help you solve shit show, or what the fuck is wrong with you? That's a quandary. This one, I had to ponder this one, but it, it blew up so big that this had to be on what the fuck is wrong with you. And, uh, here we go. Nike self-lacing sneakers turn into bricks after faulty firmware update. I want you to appreciate this is, this is peak. We've hit a level. Okay. Here's how they work. These are sneakers that connect to an app on your smartphone. And you use the app to tie your shoes. Nope. Why? Because you get a self, you get a custom comfort lacing. It laces to your exact comfort level with the app. So do your hands. And I know people are going to be like, oh, but disabled people. Yes, there are people who are unable to tie shoes because they can't bend over or their hands cramp up, and that's why we have Velcro. It, or that's why we have no lace sneakers at all. Except, even disabled people who might get some utility out of this. Here's the problem. Um, the Android version of the app was screwing up to the point it was rendering the sneakers inoperable. What happens if they're on your feet? Well, they don't lace. They, they don't lace. They just, right, but what if you already have laced them and you're wearing them around and you need and to then get them the off? App updates and you can't get those motherfuckers <laughs> off and now you have to dance until you die. Or the robots want your feet to come off. <laughs> I just I you can render a shoe useless because of a bad firmware. We are bricking the shoes. We're just, we're just doing too much, man. <laughs> like, everything in your life does not need to be controlled by an app. What the fuck happens if someone steals your phone? Well, they're going to untie your shoes. Your house, you can't buy your groceries, you can't run your fridge, and you can't tie your fucking shoes. <laughs> Hey, do you want to better analog, man? Do you do you want to come hang out later? I can't, man. Why? My phone's not charged, so I can't tie my shoes. Then how are you talking to me? It's called Skype. Look it up. I just it who whose idea was not even to have a fail safe button on the fucking shoe? You have yeah. to charge these shoes. You have to plug these shoes in. To charge up a battery in the sh and it's not a user replaceable battery, by the oh, way. Why? Why? Because they could. They they were so preoccupied with the fact that they could. No one stopped to ask if they should. And I'll tell you what's gonna happen. <laughs> Settle in. I'll tell you what's oh, gonna happen. God. All the rich Silicon Valley motherfuckers who bought these shoes, one day, they're going to find themselves walking somewhere they do not want to walk. Somewhere they did not choose to walk. But they're going to be walking there, and they're going to walk right into the meat grinder. Because that's what happens when you trust the machines too much. Do you think the, the, this is, this is a, uh, a, a, a Trojan horse? Yes! From they're the machines? They're in our fridges! <laughs> in our heating like well, the machines don't have to kill us when they rise they don't have to go all terminator they just have to get control of everything and we'll be totally helpless little slugs and then they'll be like we're out bitches i i and love that the, the the tech support for, listen to this quote my left shoe won't even reboot that's a thing you have to say in the 21st century. <laughs> My boot won't reboot. <laughs> One user offers a possible solution saying, quote, you just need to do a manual reset of both shoes. You know what I mean? I can manually reset my shoes already. I untie them. They're manually reset. 
Yeah. I pull the little knot. Oh boy, there we go. I reset manually. <laughs> I reset my shoes. Nike's having a bad week because they their shoe exploded on that like star Duke player too. Like it's a bad week for Nike. I should also point out these shoes have lithium ion batteries, which can explode which as well. Are- Oh, so your feet just might explode. Yeah, because you're stomping around on... I mean, you remember when they had those hoverboards with the bad lithium-ion batteries? Yeah, this is a lithium-ion battery that you're just stomping around on every day. So there's there's fun, too. That seems too. really safe. Someone can hack your shoes. Someone could, could hack your shoes. Not my shoes, because I'm not an idiot. Do you remember Shadowrun, Tara? Do you remember way back in, in, in like the, the, the late 90s? There you go, Dan's... And they had all sorts of cool stuff. It was like I'm aware of a thing called Shadowrun, but I don't know what it is. It's it was like it was like you know take some of the Matrix and take some of Vampire the Masquerade, take some of D and D, and you're doing like super magic tech heists. You know, you're stealing from one corporation because another corporation paid you to do it. And it's and it's it's you know everything. And you're all, like a cyborg vampire. Yeah, you could do that. It's all it's all gritty and dark and noir. And we're like the future's gonna be cool. And we get to the future. It's like help my shoe won't reboot. Yeah. The future is so much less cool than we were promised. Exactly. It's 2019, you guys. We're supposed to have replicants now. <laughs> nope. What we have is we have shoes that can be bricked. We're supposed to have Daryl Hannah in scary makeup nope. trying to kill us all. Someone hacked their shoes. Also, by the way, it was just Pris's uh, third birthday, so happy birthday, Pris. Um, yeah. That's a deep cut. I'm going to see if anybody gets that one. All right. Now, on to something equally non sequitur. Um... I don't understand this. So many. Mike. Of, what? Mike. What did Mike well, say? You couldn't have a cyborg vampire because the vampire's fast regeneration would expel the cybernetic devices. Michael. <laughs> Mike, you're that guy right now. You're fucking that. Stop it. Fucking stop it. We have. We quite often have these stories on the show that it feels like we're coming in in media res. We're just. Starting in the middle, we don't know how we got there. Yeah, usually when people are naked. Man accused of throwing toilet through front glass of East East St. Louis Board of Education building. Okay. A man is facing property damage charges after police say he threw a toilet through the glass at the front of the East, East St. Louis Board of Education building. Police say they were called to the building. When they got there, people in the building said Dave Tol- uh, Tolliver? Tolliver. Tolliver. Uh, a 36-year-old Florida man carried well, the toilet... your explanation. <laughs> carried the toilet to the building and threw it through the glass. Pol- police say they found him a short time later near the intersection of 11th and Cleveland. Officers say he was sitting on another toilet. What? And there's no explanation. There's no reason. There's no... The story just leaves you going, wait, what? Why do you have a surplus of toilets? Yes. Why are you bandying them about town? How did you get from Florida to St. Louis with your toilets? Yeah. And why are you committing acts of vandalism with them? Why the Board of Education? Yeah. What, what happened here? There's a story. There's there's a fucking story. I have a surplus toilet story. Of course you do. Of of course a fucking course you do. When I when I was in college, I befriended this uh, apartment of guys who were all like really into ska music, and I don't like ska music, mm. but they were really into it. And one of them owned a record label. He, he still does, I think. And uh, he was hosting this big ska concert on campus to benefit Habitat for Humanity. Mm-hmm. Habitat for Humanity wanted to donate something to the effort, so you know, since it was benefiting them. And they had a leftover toilet from their last project that never got used. So they donated this toilet 
to the ska show. So what they did was all the bands, they gave all the bands Sharpies and all the bands that played signed the toilet. And the idea was to earn extra money. They were going to raffle off the autographed toilet at the end of the show. Except that after they had sold all these raffle tickets, the last band smashed the shit out of the toilet. No pun intended. Was I was a- afraid you were going to say the last band shit in it, which... No, they just smashed <clears throat> it into very, very tiny pieces. And I don't actually remember whether or not they had to refund all the raffle money or if people were good sports about it. But uh, I had to report on that for the school paper. And I put a picture of that autographed toilet on the album cover that I designed for his his... His record label. <coughs> but that's a better use for a spare toilet than this. They didn't commit any acts of vandalism. They used it to try and help a charity. It was weird, but it was net good. Okay. I think that's what I haven't told before. Uh, anyway, moving along, let's go to Oklahoma now. This, I, uh, the idea of crime in general, especially if it's coming to thieving and larceny and heists, is you are risking capture and breaking the law for the chance to earn a profit on your actions. That what you do will gain a net profit over the the risk of everything involved. Well, um, that's complete failure here. Burglar crashes into Oklahoma adult novelty store. Oh no! <clears throat> Think of the dildos. Police in Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma are searching for a man who crashed his car into the glass doors of an adult novelty shop, then ran inside and stole lingerie and sex toys. Police say the heist at Hustler Hollywood happened about 3 a.m. Monday when the store was closed. It's captured on video. Employees discovered the damage later Monday morning. Police officer, uh, Jean, uh, Jean, Jean? I think it's Jean. Jean. That's a lot of extra N's and E's. But or it could be, G- could be Jeannie. I don't know. All right. Jane Pierce tells Tulsa t- TV station K- KOTV that authorities believe the man knew the store's layout because he ran directly to one station to steal the items. Valued, so he knew what he wanted. Yeah. Valued about 300 to 400 Pierce said the greater cost is likely the damage to the glass doors. So they have you on video. They're going to catch you. Apparently doing something awesome or very embarrassing. Well, I mean, if you're stealing all these dildos, listen, listen, stealing one or two dildos, that's personal use dildos. (laughs) Stealing everything off the shelf. That's either great ambitions or intent to distribute. Yes, exactly. (laughs) Exactly. You think there's black market dildos? (laughs) In in you think there's a black market hey. dildo for dildos in Tulsa? Hey, kid. There's a bigger black market dildo. <laughs> you wanna buy a dildo? There's a big, big, big you wanna... black market for dildos. <laughs> you wanna buy a penis? Who wants to buy a penis? I got penis this year. The no, price to go. Is, Who wants a does penis? He wear the, does he wear the stolen lingerie to sell the stolen dildos? <laughs> Uh, okay. okay. <clears throat> I'm getting some audio. All right, I think it's it's calmed down. Um. So now I know we say use the proper tool for the job. Like, don't <laughs> ram a cucumber up there because it's gonna break in half. So I guess good good on you for wanting the proper tools for the job. <sighs> but you should acquire them honestly. <laughs> Well, he's he's breaking the doors, the damage to the doors, the damage to your car, the damage from bail, all of yeah, this you stuff. fucked up your car. 
Yeah, you could have just bought the dildos. <laughs> He's gonna be easy to catch. Just look for the car with a dildo for a headlight. <laughs> And another one for a radio antenna. <laughs> just look for the car that's repaired entirely with dildos. <laughs> well, just, uh, you know what, if you felt a little uncomfortable going to the store to buy your dildos, you can buy the dildos online. They're concerned you went to get a cucumber. <laughs> no. You, you can just go online and buy your dildos very right. privately. If you're embarrassed about being seen... You don't have to drive your car into the store. Because now you're going to be more embarrassed. Yeah. Because there's going to be mug shots and headlines and a record. <laughs> you're on video. They can't find you. Maybe it's the only way he can get off. <laughs> Dildo's got to be stolen. Yeah, maybe he can. Maybe he's like the dad in a in the Christmas shoes, like. <laughs> In the Patton Oswalt version, like he can only get off if the if dildos, the dildos are stolen. Yeah. If they're hot, uh, here's uh, I. We have another story. I don't understand. I what? We're missing parts of this story. I feel. I feel because it's police man in gorilla suit breaks in home, hides under bed. Okay. Sulphur, Louisiana. Ooh, that's a place you don't want to live. Sulphur, Louisiana. Police say a man wearing a gorilla suit broke into a Louisiana home and hid under a mattress before officers arrested him. This is important. Did he hide under the bed or under the mattress? Because you're not a pee. Yeah. That's going to make lump. Yeah. Um... Sulphur Police Department spokesman Mel Estes in Thursday reports uh, said the officer saw uh, Jeremy Morin one o away from being perfect. Jeremy Morin uh, walking through yards in the costume. They received calls about a suspicious looking about a suspicious person looking into homes. I would hope. I would hope if a dude was walking around my neighborhood in a gorilla outfit looking in the windows, I would hope somebody would call the cops. Just one. Just somebody go, Irma, this ain't right. If we're being honest, I would probably be hiding under my bed. <laughs> Hoping I, that if he got in, Simba would bite the shit out of him. Hello? Yeah, I don't mean to judge. I don't understand what the kids do these days. It's their <laughs> right. But there's a gorilla looking in my window. Can you send somebody? Hi, Peggy. He was... I, I do not appreciate peeping Tom gorillas. He was jailed. I know what King Kong did to that woman. I know. Estes says Moran ran into a home as officers approached, but was discovered hiding. He was jailed on charges including resisting an officer, unauthorized entry, meth possession. There's your answer. And wearing a mask. And wearing a mask. Is that against the law? Yeah, in some places. There are exceptions for holidays, Mardi Gras, Halloween, but you can't just walk around in a mask. In Louisiana, a person convicted of wearing a mask in public can be sentenced to three years in prison. Yeah. Yep. Shut the fuck up! Really? Yeah. yeah. Louisiana, Louisiana is a pretty high crime state. Damn! Okay. So, alright, if you find... Meth, this is back to meth is not a good drug. Because you'll find yourself wandering around in a... Where did you get the gorilla costume? You'll find yourself in a gorilla costume... Wandering around neighborhoods, looking in yards, and trying to hide under a... I'm just imagining the officers walk, chase after him, and there he is under the bed, and there's two gorilla feet sticking out the end of it, and they're like, <laughs> I wonder where Bobo went. Like, I seriously, what is the upside of math? You could blow your shit up making it. It makes you pick your own skin off. I, I guess you just, you know, you, you won't need dentists anymore. You just like go what, straight for dentures. What is the upside? I have yet to hear an upside. It doesn't sound like a fun drug at all. In no. any way. <clears throat> I, I... 
Maybe I'm just a drug snob, but I'm like, if you're going to go there, go for the cocaine. Just go go for the cocaine. I mean, cocaine is expensive, so I get Like, cocaine's pricey. I get yeah, that. but, you know, if you're going to screw your brain up, at least, you know, you, you get what you pay for. Yeah, make it worth it, man. Right. Oh, did you, you guys saw Peggy crawl into the hidey hole back there? Yeah. <sighs> this one's just still a lump. Oh, he is. He's a big fluffy lump. Uh Mine don't come within arm's reach of me when I'm on the computer because they don't want to get exploited. All right. Uh, everybody watching right now. Live or recorded. Um, if you're eating something, put it down. Take a break. Um, yeah, get, <laughs> get it out of the way now. Take your drinks. Get it out of the way now. I kind of want to see Dan <clears throat> snarf whiskey, though. No, no you don't. <laughs> No, that hurts. I've done that. It hurts. It's <laughs> it's not burn. good. It's like putting lighter fluid up your nose. <laughs> All right, everybody, brace yourselves. This is I, I your last warning. You could skip past this one if you want. Last final warning. Tara's getting in on it too. <laughs> Police suspect hid bogus cash in anus. Then mouth. You never go ass to mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the second, the second that headline. What has Kevin Smith taught us? <laughs> uh, a man in a holding cell was seen on video placing counterfeit $100 bills into his mouth after removing the bogus cash from his anus early Friday. Police said they stopped Elvis Balbuena. Elvis, 20, of Brooklyn, and Irma Pena, uh, Pena 19, of uh, Darling Street, uh, while they were uh, walking in the middle of Route 315. Uh, Balbuena and Pena uh, matched the description of two men who walked away from Sheets Route 115 in Sharper Road where they attempted to pass a counterfeit $100 bill. Police say they left the store after a clerk woke, wrote fake on the $100 bill. When they were searched, officers allegedly found $300 bills in a backpack. Uh, they had a strip search revealed four more $100 bills hidden in Balbuena's anus. Balboigne refused to remove the bills, claiming it would hurt. Officers told Balboigne he was going to be transported to a hospital to have the bills removed. While in a holding cell, police say he was observed on video removing the bills and placing them in his mouth. They don't have to surgically remove them from there, honey. Nope. Unless your plan was to swallow them. And then it's they're good. That's that's not your problem is not solved. Let me tell you. Also, you just consumed something that came out of your own ass. So who's who's really the winner here? Secret Service agent inspected the seven bills, and all were counterfeit, and all had the same serial number. Oh no! Did you Kinko's a hundred dollar bill? Gentlemen, did you Kinko's a $100 bill? Is that what you did? Well, I don't know, because if they just printed it on regular on paper, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have survived being shoved up your average asshole. Elvis, I, I just... Uh, wow. And the look on his face. Well, the good news is... He's going to be doing the jailhouse rock. <laughs> that, that, that the, just the, and you may ask yourself, my God, what have I done? <laughs> How did I get here? You, God damn it. Imagine being the Secret Service agent that got this call. Do you know the training that Secret Service agents go through? I do not. I don't specifically, but it's rigorous. <laughs> I mean, these people protect the president. They got to be good at what they do. They protect the president and they protect the money. 
So imagine going through that rigorous training, getting your standard issue earpiece and Ray-Bans, and being called to deal with the ass money. <laughs> That's that's the rookie job. They, 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 there's there's like oh they wait for calls like that. Yeah, that's like the that's like the hazing. Hey Tony, we got one. Oh no, oh no. And finally, this week, this is one of the most Florida of Florida stories. This is just absolutely Florida. It's like Florida on top of Florida on top of. It's just so much. It's just Florida. Um, we know people who lived here. I used to live here. Long, long ago. Sheriff, Port Ritchie Mayor, shot at deputies serving warrant for illegal medical practice. Okay. The mayor of Port Ritchie, Florida, has been arrested after deputies say he fired shots at law enforcement who were trying to serve a search warrant at his home. Pasco County Sheriff Chris no uh, Noco. Noco? I would guess Noco. Chris Noco. Compared to the alleged crimes of the 68 year old mayor, Dale Glenn Massad, with those of shamed former DC Mary Marion Barry. Now, county and state officials are investigating the shooting as well as possible illegal medical practice Massad was allegedly running from his Port Ritchie home. So. And let's let's get the mugshot because yeah, that's the mugshot. That's that's because he looks weirdly like if you gave meth to Fred Gwynn. Here's here's a deep cut. Here's here's a very deep cut. Everybody, sock it to me. <laughs> very deep, very deep one there. Um, yeah, I it's I okay. Let's let's un let's unravel. It says he lost his medical license in 1992. Yeah. But he's still practicing medicine. And they just caught him. Because one medical procedure he allegedly performed sent the patient to the hospital. And his ass got elected mayor. He's the mayor. And then a SWAT team has to be sent to search his home. And he shoots at the SWAT team. Oh my God, you're lucky you're not dead. Yeah. Oh, he's he's got two attempted murder charges for for taking shots at the cops. Well, yeah, you don't get to do that. No, they 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 get cranky when you shoot back. So I just this this whole and the SWAT teams are like the not fucking around guys. Like those aren't the de-escalate guys. No, <laughs> no. When they call the SWAT, something is going to go wrong. Yeah. I just so this is their mayor. You're already the fucking mayor. Why do you have to be pretend doctor too? Well, some towns don't pay their mayor. It's like a volunteer position. So like the mayor has a job. But I want to know how we got elected mayor. <laughs> and I want to know who is going to the doctor who lost his license when I was in eighth grade. Don't worry. I'm the mayor, though. I'm the mayor, though. It's cool. Yeah, it's okay. I'm a mayor. I'm a mayor. It's cool. Because yeah. even, even me, for a split second, I would go, oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait no, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> I used to live there. I used to live in New Newport Ritchie. There's Port Ritchie and Newport Ritchie. We know people from this zip code. We totally do. As town of less than 3,000 people, yeah? Well, maybe there just aren't any options for mayor. <laughs> Everybody else is in jail for running around naked. Uh, I, I just... It, why? Hey, you know you're not supposed to be in there. Everything here just sounds like th this is this is where we are slowly going. This this is this is a, this is informing our future. Like, do you remember how we used to say in the future nobody will be able to run for office because of Facebook? We were so wrong. We it were. Doesn't fucking matter. It nothing fucking matters. Nobody gives a single chicken fried fuck. 
Well, it's kind of it 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 matter. It, it sort of did this. There was like a peak where it mattered. It mattered, and then we realized, oh shit, we're all on Facebook. Well, fuck, nothing matters. And then it went over you know the cliff. What? Yeah, fuck it. How it went over the cliff. Be? How well, bad can it be? We can't escape it. Everyone has seen our genitals. Screw it. Nothing matters. Like, you can get your movie boycotted for shit you said on Twitter. But not get kicked out of public office. Nothing matters. It's just... So now the, the mayor, why did the mayor have a gun? Why was the mayor shooting at the cops? Why was the mayor practicing the mayor medicine? Of fucking Florida. Why was he practicing medicine without a fucking license? That is very upsetting. Why that mugshot? Come on. Why everything? Everything. This is where we're all going. This, this, is, this is where we're all... Why do people retire to Florida, man? Like... Why do why do why do people get old and choose to go to this place where everything is insane, everybody's on meth, and the seas are going to eat it in fifty years? Why do people go there? Maybe it's like an exciting version of getting on an ice floe. Maybe it's yeah. like YOLO. We got five years left. Let's see what the fuck happens. That's the first thing we learned this week is sometimes. Everything that can go Florida will go Florida. Yeah. Um, we've learned you never go ass to mouth. Never. You never go ass to mouth. We've learned. Um, meth will put you in a gorilla suit hiding under someone's bed. It's not your bed. The cops will come for you. Meth. Meth. There's no upside to meth. There's no upside to meth. Meth is not a good drug. I just I think we can just pretty much write meth off as a loss. Um, we've learned if you really want the dildos, you can get that shit online. I promise. You can. Yeah. You don't have to do a dildo heist. You don't have to look anybody in the eye to acquire dildos. Nope. You don't. Um, we've learned sometimes people carry around an extra toilet bowl. I mean, just in case. That's a thing that happens. We have proof. We have documented evidence. There's a That's dude... That's like an IBS drug commercial waiting to happen. <sighs> Someone just carting a toilet bowl around in a little red wagon. Not one, but two. He had uh, he had one to spare so he could throw one through a window. That's a thing that... Happens. to stay. What? And still have somewhere to stay. That's sit. true. And finally, we've learned here in the future... Our super technologically advanced shoes can stop working forever. You can brick a shoe. You can brick a fucking shoe. Maybe that's Nike's secret plan to kill Reebok sales. If you can never take the Nikes off, 